Hey guys, welcome back to Keep My Five Alive. Uh, come to you today, bring you something interesting I got from Wazoo. It was, uh, I don't think it was a special deal they were having, but it was relatively inexpensive and seemed like it could be very useful. So check it out. Hope you like the video. Alright, so this is the Wazoo Survival. Uh, well, it's a couple things I ordered from them. Uh, main purpose for doing this video, and, and I just now actually, as I'm opening this box, I actually got this like two weeks ago, and I'm just now, I don't know, getting around to it or whatever. Uh, we've been very busy. Um, but uh, yeah, my main goal for this was, was this. We're going to talk about it in a second, but I forgot I also got some Ranger Bands, which is just an assortment pack of, of Ranger Bands. You know, y'all all know what those are. I love that Wazoo always gives you something. This time I got a sticker. That's pretty cool. I'll probably put that on my car or something. That's pretty neat. Uh, sometimes they'll give you like a water bag or something. They also also give always give you this um, box that with with little tips on it and uh, you know kids can color it. I gave my son one that that you know let him color it. Um, they're pretty neat. Yeah, you guys are pretty cool. And and just to keep continuity or how what do you want to say? We're gonna we're gonna open this with the uh, Wazoo ceramic knife here. That comes in like their adventure survival kits, and uh, you can probably buy it individually too. But it's a it's a little ceramic blade, used as a scraper. Also, this is a ferro rod that comes attached to it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use that to open it. So this is the tracking field kit, and I guess this is gonna be some kind of ruler or something. But it's a bandana that's got animal identification on it, and uh, I'm gonna try to open this because I really don't wanna cut through the bandana or anything. Let's see what happens when I do this. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Now if I can just get under this. Like I said, try not to damage anything. I don't want to open it up and find out I cut, through, cut halfway through the bandana or something. <clears throat> there we go. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, close our little knife blade back up here. That's a pretty pretty sharp little knife. Of course, that was not um, a, a very good test, but it definitely cut through that pretty good. All right, so before we even open that, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> All right, so we got uh, we got some tips. Why is Sasquatch or any other animal not shown on here? We partner with tracking experts to help choose a list of animals based on certain criteria that allow you to have the most success with this bandana. These are ones that are found across the majority, majority of North America, most abundantly found in the wild, that may indicate water nearby, that are easy food sources, and that are most useful for side-by-side -side comparison. Did you spot the eyes? They're... All right, we'll read that later. Kind of a... Uh... Well, he's pretty good about this. This this is just um, you know, kind of like a little instruction manual, I guess. I'm gonna read that later. You don't need to see all that, but let's see here. And there's the bandana. Look at that, pretty cool. And it it does. It's got a uh, you know turtle and uh, what else have we got here. Wild feral hog. Uh, how many toes are present? Oh, and it's got questions that you should ask to help you identify it. This is pretty cool. This is pretty neat. Virginia possum. Hey, that's funny because uh, I'm in Virginia. Ah. What we got? Bobcat. Domestic cat. Why do they have domestic cat on there? I don't know. I guess it's our. It's Cougar Mountain Lion. We do have those in Virginia, believe it or not. A lot of people don't believe that, but I have heard them. Definitely have heard them. Northern Raccoon. Pretty cool. I have to read it. Figure out, uh, you know, because they all have like L and DRT and stuff behind them. I'm not sure what that stands for. Domestic Dog OW. What is OW? Oh, Direct Register Walk at DRW. Clockwise direction of travel. Based on the case. What? I'm not sure. Behind the top front. 
behind, front. Oh, it's just showing, it's just telling you what they are. Gallop, bound. Oh, this is what the, I'm not sure what these dots and stuff mean. Yeah, I'll have to figure all that out, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show you that. And wait a minute, here we go. Where's our little snap bracelet here? And that's, that's exactly what it is. That's what I thought. It is a ruler. Centimeters and inches. Just so you can measure the size of the prints. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Just so you take note of how big they are. You know, like I said, you know, obviously if you're good at this, it, it gives you a clue onto the size of the animal. I mean, you could probably do some pretty good guesstimation just based on the size of their paw. You know, uh, you know, cougar or mountain lion with a paw that big? Yeah, well, he's probably um, bigger than you want to mess with. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Uh, mountain lion with a paw that big, man. Imagine a house cat that's uh, very, very angry and and probably five or six times the size of a normal house cat. And uh, that'll give you an idea of why you wouldn't want to mess with them. But like I said, I've had this for about two weeks. Figured I'd get it out here. They had it on special. I think this was like 12 bucks or something. So it was worth it. You also get a bandana. You know, see, it's one of Dave Canterbury's uh, 10 necessities of survival or 10 C's of survival or whatever and uh, bandana is one of them cotton cloth whatever so yeah at least you have a bandana there all right so here we go now I got it all spread out for you so you can get a really good view of it um, and you have to look at it a little closer it does it, it tells you what the different kinds of kinds of track are and what they look like like what a hop looks like what a bound looks like and on the outside like I said it gives you questions to ask uh, is there a separate heel pad? Can you see hair in the track? Um, how many toes there are? Things like that to help you identify animals. And you know, some people would say, why would you want to track an animal? Well, uh, um, accurately identifying and interpreting animal behavior is, uh, is a necessary skill that, that most people just don't know. Uh, learning even you know just just simple things just just having something like this and learning the basics of it will uh will give you a more enriching awareness of of nature as well as a, a useful tool when your life may depend on it uh it, it can help help you in finding uh a food source a water source or or keep you from becoming a prey you know keep you from becoming food for some predator uh, this is probably not the first bandana with tracks on it, but Wazdu does a really good job, and I, I'm sure this is, uh, you know, like I'm sure this is very accurate representation. I, I wouldn't doubt that from these guys. These guys are awesome at Wazoo. They do a great job, um, and you know, uh, I, I, I would, you know, I'd recommend any of their gear. Some of it is pricey. This this is not that bad. It was like 12 bucks, like I said, but some of the stuff can be pricey. That's the only downside to it, but. It's, it's quality stuff. It's worth it. And I, I hear, and I don't know if this is true, maybe somebody wants to comment and tell me if I'm correct or not, but I hear if you do use one of their survival kits in a survival situation, that they will replenish that kit for you at no cost. They will give you back whatever you use. That's what I heard. I don't, I don't know if that's absolutely true or not. But from what I hear about them, uh, it I could believe that they would do that. They seem like pretty decent people. Uh so yeah this is you know to help you with your tracking interpret signs left by animals um and you know it's just footprints but that can help you a lot like i said you can uh, find out what animals are in the area and uh you know what they may have been doing there are they are they going to lead you to food are they going to lead you to water are they looking for you are they hunting you of course uh, you're probably not going to find these before that's too late if they are hunting you especially with a lot of animals so there you go from wazoo survival gear that is the uh tracking bandana so that's it hope you enjoyed the video sorry i had to cut it off like that i had a technical difficulty at the end there but uh yeah just wanted to show you that like i said looked like it'd be very useful so let me know what you think don't forget to comment subscribe hit that like button tell me how i'm doing let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do thanks for watching and i'll see you next time